Hey everybody, welcome back. It is bright and early in the morning. We're gonna be going on a super long car drive today. We've got an E46 all stripped out. This is our death cart. We have my 330CI. That is our race car from the channel. And then we've got two other cars. You can't quite see the blue one from here, but there is a blue RX-8. And then there is a 20... 2020 WRX Series White. White. One is it like a white edition? No, it's, it's called the Series White. Series White. It was a limited edition put out at the end of the model year for the 2020 because they're changing body styles okay. next year. All right. So that's the Subaru that you see there in the gold wheels with the red brake calipers. So we're going to be doing a bunch of really cool shots. And uh, we don't have a ton of plans today uh, filming wise, but we do have a challenge that we've set for ourselves. And uh, we're thinking we'll play some golf. Yes, we're going to do some uh, car model golf. So we each start out with one point because of our car, but every E36 convertible that I see that's a two-door, I get another point. Every E46 coupe that Jay sees, he gets a point. Every 2015 to 2020 Subaru WRX that we see gets a point. Every RX-8 that we see gets a point. The guy with the least points at the end of the drive wins that challenge. Right, so basically whose car is more rare. Now, I'm going to make a prediction because we've already been talking about this. I'm going to say that the RX-8 is going to win this. Mm -hmm. If we see another one, I'll be shocked. Yeah, I agree. In fact, if we see another one, I'll buy you lunch. Oh, wow. But you'd have to see it before lunch. Now what happens? I'll buy you food. Because we're going on a 500-mile loop, so yep, we're going to have lunch in the middle of this. Yeah, so it's going to be like, later. it's going to be eight hours <laughs> of, of driving, driving yeah, basically. Not, not counting stops. With uh, no cruise control, in my case, those guys have air conditioning and all that fun stuff going I, on. I have cruise, but I have your, no air conditioning. Your cruise works, then? Yeah, cruise works. Okay. Because I never tested it. Yeah, it works. Mine, my, so mine doesn't have cruise, and then we both don't have AC or anything like that, but he does have a convertible, so if it does start to get hot, He'll be okay there, and you can see his nice spiffy I'm, little hat, his jacket. Out. Yep, ready to go. Yeah, so, I don't want to get sunburned again. I drove it for a day the other day and got completely burnt. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to get sunburned either. So we're super excited to get this going. We're gonna do some really cool shots, some rolling shots. Mm -hmm. Since we got the convertible here, we'll be sticking our our cameraman who's behind the camera right now, who's not actually filming right now. I'm actually holding it right now, but he's gonna be our cameraman for the day. His Instagram is Murdoch underscore Chase. Make sure to check him out. I'll have a link to his Instagram in the description below. But we're gonna be doing some really cool shots hanging outside of the of the convertible here so we can get some nice shots of all the cars and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. So let's get started. Indeed. All right, halfway done. Yeah, halfway. We have gone about how many miles? 170. So, yeah, it's somewhere. been pretty far, but we've, we've done a lot of stops, gas station stops, buying donuts and treats and crap. So, as our little game goes, our little golf game, I have not seen a single E46. I don't even think I've seen a normal 
E46. I've seen quite a few BMWs, but they've all been like new. Like, I saw a Z3, yeah. but it was parked it. It looked like it was broken, but. Yeah. So I haven't seen any Beamers. We definitely haven't seen any convertible 36s. None. We haven't seen any RX-8s. Shocking. Yeah, shocking. And we have seen. One red STI WRX of the so, same, same body model as the Series White. So there he's losing. Everybody else is still tight. So one. he's at two. We're, we're including the one that we have now as point one. So we'll have one point. We'll have one point. And he's got two points. So that's how that's going. Uh, so far, the cars handle really well. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let David talk about the death cart real quick. So I, I've i pushed it to the limits of its tires and suspension. It uh, gets, it's fun. I don't know, you, you've been following me. Have you felt like you could have caught me if you really wanted to, or have you felt like I was kind of pulling or? Yeah, and I had to, for a while there, I had the GoPro on the dash. Um, and as, as much as I wanted to be behind you and get, uh, getting like a really good, um, you know, view of the tail end of your car, um, yeah, I was. My car would easily keep would up with it. So that, that's why I so I would drop back. So you could run up a little. So I could run. Corner. So I could run apart on the. So yeah, I was so. putting it through the corners as hard as I could, and it was definitely at the limit of that car. And uh, it's pretty good. It's not slow. It's it's a lot of fun at those speeds with those tires on those corners. So yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's so been it's awesome. In fact, I'm I'm this close to, to, to asking to trade for a little or or later in the day because yeah. i definitely do want to drive the car car a little bit more in fact not only that i would really like to do a video up in teton okay go up and do palisades again and 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 just do one on the car car just get some really good shots of it and be able okay. to drive the car and really try to convey how the cars feel to everybody watching it's really difficult for us to explain we're just like oh this feels really good and then i'm like okay well really good that's not a very good ex that's it, not a good explanation it, on yeah I, <laughs> it communicates the bumps it steers with the throttle it steers with the front end i can you know put it into understeer oversteer whenever i want to on the corners and the power band is just exquisite for those. Anything under about 70 miles an hour, it's got all the power you need. You get up about 80 and then it starts to be a little lacking. It's been it's been awesome. So anybody out there who's wanting to do some sort of death car, even the E36, whether it's a 325, 328, or 323, do it, go through the car, make sure it's nice and healthy because it's absolutely and worth it. Twice now, the brakes have been absolutely essential. There was a deer, I think we may have some footage if you want to throw that clip up right now. This deer tried to jump in front of a truck and we were able to just bring it right down. And it was just no problem at all. Didn't even, didn't even be, it wasn't even stressful. Just slowed down, let the deer get out of the way. It's been and then awesome. a truck nearly killed the deer, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we're gonna check back in a little bit later. We're gonna do some more driving. And uh, that sounds like the rest of our day. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So, <clears throat> sunburns, no heat stroke. Almost. A little bit of dehydration. Allergies. A lot of allergies. Um, itchy eyes. Some exhaustion. Exhaustion, we're really mm -hmm. tired. Potentially some carbon monoxide poisoning. A little bit of carbon monoxide poisoning. It was awesome, we loved it. It was a great drive. I hope that everybody enjoyed all of the content, all the little clips and videos that we were able to get together. It was a little bit difficult because we didn't have like a, a solid setup for the camera and everything like that. I just was a little bit worried about the GoPro. The GoPro is new and I didn't want to stick it to the outside of the car and anything like that. And controlling it from 
you know, the driver's seat, the passenger seat, and having the GoPro all the way back here on the quarter panel, something like that was a little bit difficult, so. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun though. It was awesome, we had, we, we had we, a, we didn't get a lot, as much video as we could have gotten, but we had a heck of a lot of fun. And generally the stuff that we did get was sort of the slower sections where we could, we could kind of predict they were coming and get the camera out and, and hit them. Yeah, and oftentimes since we, we knew the roads roughly, some of us did, uh, it was a little bit difficult to predict, like he said, when things were coming up. And so it was like, oh, get the camera on. And then we've already missed two out of the four or five, four corners. Or five corners. And yeah. so, uh, but other than that, it was really fun. You can see I'm burned halfway where the uh, sun was coming in through the side of the window. So I had my I had my kafaya over my head and, and down my arm to try to keep me from getting too toasted. But it was a lot so, of fun. I, I believe our loop was about 260 miles. We will put the correct mileage right here when we calculate it exactly because we didn't follow the predicted route. We actually got lost at least twice and uh, did some backtracking and we had to split the group up. It was it wound up being pretty fun. In yeah, it was it was way awesome. And then we have one other thing to announce the um, challenge. The challenge. We had our little golf challenge. So the basically, if you don't remember, from 10 minutes ago um, we had one point per car and then anytime you saw another one of your car you would gain another point and like golf you want to keep the lowest number possible we did not see a single e36 convertible mm -hmm. we did not see another e46 coupe we saw a sedan we saw a sedan but we decided that wouldn't that didn't count. That didn't count. Like, if we would have seen a, a hatchback WRX, it wouldn't have counted. So, But we did see another 2016 WRX SDI, same body as his. So, And then, as I guessed, there was no other RX-8s. Anywhere. So we ended up having a three-way tie between the 36, the 46, and the RX-8 uh, with our little golf challenge that we had. So it was just a lot of fun. We hope that everybody enjoyed watching. Hit the like button if you did. Comment if you have any questions or comments down below also make sure to check out our patreon link in the description below as well our patreon members get to enjoy ad free early releases of our content we record several months in advance sometimes and our patreon members get to see that a lot sooner than everybody else so again that is in the description below thanks again everybody for watching we'll see you next video